Hello Capstone students, I hope you're keeping well. Here is the solution to uh, challenge number two. Um, this this was tricky enough, um, even even for me. So um, I'm gonna give you a, a couple of extra days to work on it. Um, and then I'll give you the next challenge. So um, here's, the, here's the solution to the first part. Um, I hit the start button. Now that's gonna be a, a big package. We want it to move to the left. I just turn this down here for a second. The only th thing that I, I have to add here is I need to add some uh, sensors to detect like a pileup and then a siren that um, that this will make a, a noise whenever there's a pileup on either side. Here's the small package. We want to move that to the right hand side. This is this is tricky enough. Um, the other thing is we have a counter sorry we have a counter for the large packages and we have a counter for the small packages and i'll show you how to do that okay so that's what i want from you you should have been able to get close enough um i know ian was able to get it right off the bat so that was a nice job so um what i want you to do is here's my solution I'm going to create a new diagram and hold on a sec. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a start. Let's zoom in here. A start and a stop button. Okay. Now, you know, hopefully, you know, the stop is normally closed. So we need to get ourselves a not block to flip that logic. Um, what what that would have been that would have been um, a line going through your gate in your ladder logic. So uh, I like this uh, set and reset. I know Miss Peggy's not keen on it, but look, um, it's just nice and clean. I don't I I, I like it myself. I'm not going to lie. And then. What we're going to do is we're going to turn on the start light. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn on um, a, a memory bit called, we're going to call it main latch. Um, I don't know what you would have called that in PLC. I like to call it main relay. Main relay. Now, Whenever the start light is on and whenever the main relay is on, we know that the stop light is going to be off. So what we can do here is get the stop light and not, whenever these things are, are not on, we want the stop light to be on. Okay, that's the first bit. Um, now, let's get a, a note. We, we like comments, don't we? And we'll call this, this is the May start, stop, main latch. I can handle that. Okay. Right. Now what's next? Whenever the main latch is on, Um, what do we want to do? Whenever the main latch is on, and if we go back here, and and this thing is and this and this loaded button is not on, we want the conveyor to be on. If this is on, we want the conveyor to stop loaded. Okay. So whenever this. Look, whenever this is not on, and that, what do I want to turn on? I want to turn on 
the conveyor entry and something else I'll show you well let's just run this and let's see what happens that's that's enough to be dangerous so what do I want this to do what what do I want this lot what do I want this logic to do I want this conveyor to drive forward until it reaches the loaded sensor I press play let's hit the, the stop light comes on the start light comes on stop light comes off start light comes on keep on going now I'm just going to pause it there that that pallet is driving really well and then it hits this transfer station the transfer station has these orange orange um, chains that rise up that either go to the left or they go to the right but right now they're down they're not doing anything this thing also has its own rollers and those rollers are not on those rollers are controlled by controlled by the load actuator so we need to turn on the load actuator as well if I'm seeming a bit serious I am because this is probably the third time I've been looking at this um, video and trying to make sense of it so I'm, I'm a little bit burnt out even though this is your first time hearing my voice um, but look I'm actually learning how to use function blocks and this this is not a bad thing like it is painful I can only imagine the pain you guys are feeling so look just suffer through it now let's let's run this again okay I'll turn off the pause let's hit there we go we want this thing to continue on without any mistakes until it hits that sensor lovely and watch this I can grab it and move it off let's see if I can hit the wall from here yes all right get out of it now what else you need to watch out for some of the sensors in this system are normally open when a box goes by them they get triggered and they close the, the connection okay I like that that makes sense to me these bloody four sensors here and the stop button are normally closed notice that there's nothing going near them and there well watch let's see if I can if I press play here and I can I grab a box I'm gonna grab this box this at left entry is on right now come on now come on you stupid thing is um, all right there we go at right entry is now off. is now off it's the reverse okay anyway so that just be aware of that okay now what's next okay now let me pause this for a second and think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to determine we're going to so so what this is the stop and start and stop main latch and this controls logic for entry conveyor we're going to write the logic to determine um the high and the low boxes because we have like a choice to make how do we do that whenever the pallet sensor is triggered which is this sensor right here a we know there's a pallet we know there's something there if the high sensor turns on and the pallet sensor turns on we know that we have a big box and it needs to go somewhere if the low sensor turns on and the pallet sensor turns on we know that we have a small box we are assuming that this emitter is always going to have a box on it but we could do you know what we could do I wonder how we could not let's not confuse things you could I bet you could go into this em emitter and you could control whether this thing has a box or no box and if it did have a box we could go to the left and it did I'm not going to confuse it. let's keep it big box and small boxes let's sort them all right how do we do that okay if I have if the pallet sensor goes on and 
the high sensor and the high sensor goes on, then we know we're going to set something. If we're going to have a bit, a memory bit, if the low sensor turns on, okay, we're going to have a, a memory bit and we're going to call it zero is main re relay address one is going to be high low box now let's do big small box when this thing is one it's it's a big box when it's zero it's a small box this is the big small box logic okay that's that let's see does it work how how will we know if it works um okay we'll we'll we'll, we'll press play i'm going to press this here this is a big box Let's go over here. Let's turn the eyeball on. Okay. You can see there that that has set this to be one. Now, if if I go back here and I throw that off and throw that off and get rid of that and get rid of that, is it ever going to kick out a small box? Here we go. And let's go back. beautiful this palette sensor turned on the low sensor turned on this reset this bit and it turned this off i know you're looking at this one here this is this this is its address the actual boolean value turned to zero okay now okay what's next let's go back here If we get this situation where we have a small box, now um, it's worth me mentioning this to you that, that in order for me to get to this stage of clarity in my logic, it's taking me taken me at least a, a day to play around with this. Don't think that you're going to just. This took me a day of pulling out my hair, and it's still pretty rough. Once we get the small box, we know that we have a small box now because this bit has been set to zero we know that we're here at loaded the next thing i want to do is i want to turn on this transfer right okay because it's a small box okay so we'll put the transfer stuff down here let's turn off this how do we do that? How do we get a big box? So if we have, we're going to have this guy. So the first thing let's do when we have a big box, big box. Big box. Transfer station logic. Okay. This is going to be high. Whenever this is high and the loaded is on. Well, that's when this guy's high and this guy is high. That means there's, there's a if both of these are high, there's a big box in place at the right place. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the transfer. We're going to move it to the left.
I know some of you may, and I'm making an assumption here, that that's, I'm making an unfair assumption that some of you are just going to copy this and not understand it. In a few weeks, I'm going to be giving you challenges where I'm not going to give you the solution. Okay, so I need you to pull out your hair with me. I know uh, some of you, please God, are going to get a job doing this type of work. Maybe all of you. Um, okay. That's going to turn that on. Now, what turns it off? We want it to turn off when it hits this sensor. I don't know if this is going to work, but at left, at, at left exit. At left exit. And that will reset it. It might not be that simple. Okay, let's let's do the opposite for the opposite side. Big box trans big box transfer station logic. We'll highlight that. I'll move this down here. Um, small box. Okay. Now we know that this is going to be a small box when this is not high. So this guy is going to be is going to have to be knotted. When this thing's gone off doing its own thing, calm down. And this is not going to be at left exit, it's going to be at right exit. Transfer left. Transfer right. Okay. Let's move this over to the right just a little bit. Okay. Um, and let's see... Let's see what happens. I honestly don't know. I'll, I'm going to press play. And let's hit start. This should move in this direction here. Okay, it does nothing. What I wanted to do is... I, want the, I wanted to keep on going. I'm going to try something out and then come back to you. Okay, I think I got what's happening here. Let's do it again. Play. Start. Okay, watch this. Okay. When this... When, when, when the transfer... When the transfer left or the transfer right, or conveyor left, or conveyor right is running. If any of these things are running, we do not want this conveyor on. I, I know that's, it's not exactly efficient, but let's, let's see, does that work? In order to do that, if any of these are running, the main conveyor cannot run. Let's see how we, how we can do that. I can do that up here. So if any of these so if the the transfer left is on or the transfer right or or conveyor left or conveyor right if any of those lads are on we do not want these these are not allowed to run i, I think i'm gonna have to have a knot if any of these are on yeah it, i'm gonna have to have a knot for each one of these So this thing can only run as long as these are all off. Okay. Ah, uh, damn it. I don't have enough room there. So do I, I probably need this. Um, and if I, can I move that over there and there? So I can add these and I can add that to there. That sucks. Um, what I'll do is I'll do this. I'll get another and. So this 
Andar. 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 So now what what else? Um what I want to do is is this can I turn on why can't I turn once the transfer left is turned on, why can't I turn on conveyor left as well? And why can't I turn on conveyor right? And let's see what happens. Now what the f <clears throat> okay let's start it again so it's going to the right it's going to the right direction it's going to stop this is on now it just turned off right away so what the hell is alt at left entry what's going on with that um at left entry at left exit at right exit so let's i have a feeling this is at left exit maybe this needs to be not not at left exit um let's get rid of the reset and let's see does it do what it what it needs to do and then we can stop it somehow so we'll i took away the resets and let's see what happens. This should, let's even get one successful. So that's just going to keep on going. And that's okay. I want to, I want to reset that. I want to reset this when that, so, so the box comes along. This is high. When the box hits it, it turns off. When the box moves on, it turns back on. So when it goes from a false to a true. And if that doesn't work, I'm just going to reverse it. So the big box is going to the left, at left exit. Now I want, I'm going to have to use these, this edge trigger is going from a false to a true. Let's see, does this work? I asked Miss Peggy and she did say that you did cover this edge transitions, these edge, um, and they are useful. So um, that's the big box, that's the left. I need the same again. I need at right exit. If that doesn't work, I'm going to just swap it to the in a different type of edge trigger. Play. Green button. This shouldn't go in this direction and it should turn off. Be a good little sensor now, come on. Oh, you beauty. I love it. Oh, that, that makes me feel good. Now, it goes away, that turns off. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Now, the counters. How are we going to count the counters? Lovely, we can do this. Okay. The counters, whenever. Yeah, why can't we just come off that signal there? Um, if we go to counter. Count up. I'm going to come off of that. 
uh, we're going to use the reset button to reset everything. Let's grab one of these nice notes. Um, reset counters. I don't. I know you don't believe me when I say this to you, but like this type of this type of project, it, it is. Trust me, it's as painful for me as it is for you. Um, but it is. I, I feel good. I feel happy that I can figure this out. So hopefully you feel the same way. Don't don't just copy and paste it. You've got to suffer a little bit. Um, I know I I know Peggy feels the same way, Miss Peggy. So um, I'm gonna now this counter. Um, you have to give it a preset value. That's just the way that it actually doesn't run unless you give, which is kind of stupid. Well, you have to give it a preset value. Just just give it a number. Uh, and it can be a million, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's just a number. And then, what are we going to do? Um, I'm going to go back here for a second. And I'm going to call this a counter. We'll call this big box counter. Small box counter let's go back to control IO and um, pull this down big box counter Ooh. and I'm gonna highlight all of this control C control control V that's okay um, Let's get this. Uh, we'll get the reset in there. I have to, I shouldn't say this too loud, but I do prefer this to ladder logic. And I didn't think I would. I don't know why. Small box counter. Let's see, does that work now? That should be the first part. Run. Start. Lovely. I love it. I love it. All right, then this is going to work, obviously. Who's the man? Come on. Yes. Right. The last thing that I wanted you to do is if one of the so I can run this and you can turn off the removers by just turning that off and not like there okay where do you find that it's in doc all tags well, let's see what happens here Ooh. oh there we go my 3D printer is broken. Hold on for one sec. So, the last thing I want you to do is, um, what am I doing here? Get rid of that. Um, we need to add some sensors to to tell um, the PLC that there's a pile up. Uh, turn off the conveyors and uh, turn on the alarm. How do we do that? You're going to come into here and you're going to go to sensors and you could either use a vision sensor or a diffuse sensor do you know what i love about this i know that's a bit of a strong word but it, it looks exactly like they do we've used these exact sensors um you know, i bet you if i do that right if i go diffuse sensor is it smart enough it should why why if how do I change the height? Um, now I wonder, 
if I click on that and I click on diffuse sensor no so I'll, f I'll flip this around and I'll go vertical translate look anyone that has any tips um, I know some of can I bring this out oh, I love it I can bring that up a little bit uh, vertical up here like so something like that and I'll do one on the other side so what are we going to call this this is going to be called um, left pile up okay now I can just tell by looking at this this is a normally open switch so when it's when it get one once it gets triggered it's going to close like like a good switch does like a good sensor now um we'll bring this up there you go okay let's move this over can we move it up a little bit okay now we're going to call that um right pile up and I'm going to get a warning device a siren I got this from Ian vertical trans can I if I go horizontal can I go vertical can I go a bit higher make sure your speakers are down very low this thing is loud okay there it is it's connected to the box okay so let's go back to control io and we'll call this um emergency so whenever the right pile up or the right pile up or the left pile up is there an or button anywhere gets triggered what do we want to do if either one of those is triggered let's create um let's create let's turn on the alarm siren obviously well we could set this couldn't we um we could set that and then the one thing we could do is we could reset it using the reset button or even better you could you could have look if this is a real if this was my if i was the boss of this factory i would have some sort of key here that that, that once this kicks off the only thing you can turn it off is the key but anyway um that tells you a little bit about personality and uh, what we want to set this and this turns on we also want to set um, a memory bit we're going to call this emergency emergency um, and that's going to trigger that on now whenever the emergency button is high now if we go back up here um, the emergency button will also reset this um, so I'll come in here and I'll get an OR emergency okay so let's let's see what happens can I turn off all these tags there we go what happens if I turn off this ad tags addresses okay and uh, I, I do need to see I do need to see ah, damn it I do need to see some of those okay play start
I'm going to turn my speakers down a little bit. Now, this this remover is on. This guy is not. And hopefully this turns on. Okay. So if I come over here and I hit the reset button, it turns off. If I hit start, I'm going to hit start. Start now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back on this remover and hit the start button again. All right, so let's turn this off. Let's turn this down. So hopefully um, you're all doing okay. When do I want this by? Look, let's, let's, I'd like to have this by the end of Monday. Okay, midnight on Monday. That, that leaves you, what day is today? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three days um, to do this. Okay. That's bad. That's not good enough, though. You see that? Um, I turned that off. That main relay, and um, so we come down here to this transfer left, and that should have been killed. Um, you would have to add that to the reset. So you'd have to add another or there and add that main relay in, something like that, because if somebody hits that reset. And these these things are still running. That isn't good. That's what that emergency stop is for. That I just took away. So um, look, hope I hope you're all keeping all right. Um, I'm so you, I'm going to give you until Monday. Let me write that down. Monday at midnight to send me a video. Sorry about the delay in getting you this solution. It was wrecking my head last night. Uh, on Tuesday I will give you a new challenge. Challenge number three. Okay. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Bye.